Welcome to a change of scenery, well, slightly. I have a fancy new chair, how about that? This chair was free, free. I've wanted a like peacock chair, that's what they're called, right? Peacock chairs? I've wanted a chair like this for so long and I randomly said to my mum, like, if you happen to see one anywhere, let me know. And she found one for free. My mum has thrifty skills that I am yet to learn because I was just amazed how quickly she was like, oh yeah, I found one completely free, here you go. <laughs> anyway, yeah, hey, hope you've had a good February. Sorry, I didn't post a video last week. I feel like I start so many videos like that, which is like not a good sign for me and my videos. I'm trying to not stress about it and just upload good stuff when I'm able to. I did try filming like two videos last week and my, I, uh, just didn't go well. But I'm feeling great now. I'm feeling really good. I've had a fantastic few days. Actually, last week, last week might have not been very productive in terms of work, but it was a really good week just in terms of myself. And I don't know, I, I've got to a really good place. I hope it lasts, but I'm just on like a bit of a high at the minute. Let's start at the beginning of February, shall we? You know how I haven't worn my septum jewellery for months because I got bored of it? I just randomly ended up watching quite an old video of mine and my septum ring looked really cute in it. <laughs> so today I want to put my jewellery back in and I don't know how it's gonna go. Has it closed up? Will there be blood? I have my highest quality septum ring here. If I'm gonna be shoving some metal into a potentially partially healed wound, I want to make sure it's the best. Ooh. It feels like it's gone halfway through and now it's struggling. Oh! <laughs> Maybe if I just rub it and tease it a bit it will give way. Oh! Oh! It did! It's kind of weird because I got used to seeing myself without it again. There's already been a few people told me that they don't like it. I think these are people that subscribed during like the few months when I didn't wear it, so this is completely new to them. <laughs> this is the first video I've filmed this year using 100% natural light and I'm so happy. I mean, I hope it looks good when I get into editing, but I miss filming with natural light so much. My house is so dark normally. The reason it's so bright today is it's been snowing the past few days pretty heavy in the UK. So the snow is just acting like a mirror and it's just lit my house up. It's just, there's just white reflecting everywhere. I love it. I don't like going out in the snow. I don't like how cold it is, but it looks pretty and it's lit my house up very nicely. So I'm not complaining. <laughs> I did a massive shop at the beginning of the week so that I wouldn't have to go out much because I knew how cold it was gonna be. I'm all stocked up on food, like a little squirrel with my nuts. There were a lot of birthdays in my life in February. There was uh, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and one of my best friends. Whenever I say mother-in-law or father-in-law, there's always someone that thinks I've got married already and they've missed it. I haven't got married yet. I'm not gonna go into huge detail because this is someone else's like personal stuff, but on Alex's mum's birthday, um, we reconnected with a family member, not my dad, <laughs> but it was really nice and it had the sort of extra significance of the fact that it was Alex's mum's birthday, so it was like an extra gift and a big, it was a big deal. And it was really nice to be a part of. We went to this beautiful pub. I can't remember the name of it. I'll pop it on the screen. I think it's a set vegan menu that lots of different pubs have because a few of you messaged me saying you'd seen the same menu in places near you. And it was so good. It was so tasty. My favorite thing was the dessert. It had little crispy things in it and chocolatey sauce and oh, it was really good. I wanna go back. I gave Laurie, Alex's mum, the glittery vegan chocolates that I made and she loved them. I got a really cute little jar from Pound Stretcher and I got a ribbon that was uh, on an old Lush gift box and tied it around the jar and it looked really cute. I included a little clip of me putting the glitter on those in my most recent What I Ate video, but I will make a whole video on them at some point. I wanna, I wanna come up with my own chocolates recipe. I've made a bunch of other people's and I wanna work on my own. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll make them glittery and sexy and I'll make a whole video on it. Lindsay's birthday was... <laughs> I 
I got really drunk. <laughs> Lindsay makes fantastic cocktails. For some reason, before I left, I would do a couple of emergency snacks, and they don't know why, and the tax office don't know why either. No? Then they don't know why I'm getting my commission. You still get paid commission three months behind. Fair enough. I was really self-aware and paranoid when I got a taxi home that like I was really drunk and the taxi driver wasn't and I was just trying so hard to be normal. I was staying over at Alex's parents that night to celebrate his mum's birthday the next day so I wandered in like drunk and they were watching TV and I'm just like <sighs> trying so hard not to be drunk. It's fun being drunk around other drunk people but when you're drunk and everyone else isn't I feel like a vulnerable weirdo. <laughs> I don't like it. I went back home one day and I hung out with my mum and the doggos. Hello. Hello. Did you miss me? <laughs> Sexy old bean. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed it and I really need to make more time to spend like a whole day doing that just visiting family and friends I should try and do it more because it does lift me up massive bath bomb update I asked you if I should use this giant golden wonder bath bomb all at once or if I should cut it up and make it last most of you said to use it all at once so that's what I'm gonna do right now. pretty epic. I was worried the bath might seem a bit thick and a bit too much and it might look pretty but not be very enjoyable when you're actually in it but it was fine. It was really beautiful actually. The the gold in it and the green and it looked stunning. It looked so good. I don't think any of the footage that I got did it justice. In the last week of February, this week, <laughs> I took up yoga again um, I haven't done yoga in 10 years. <laughs> when I was around 15 or 16, I had a VHS tape of Louise Solomon teaching yoga lattes. It was a combination of yoga and Pilates and I really, really enjoyed it and I stuck to it and I did it pretty religiously and I became really flexible. I don't know why I stopped. I just fell out of the habit, I guess. I was a teenager. I had better things to be doing with my time than stupid yoga. <laughs> I went out and bought a lovely yoga mat and I've been doing yoga every day since, sometimes twice a day, sometimes I do it in the morning and before bed and it really surprised me how much of it came back to me straight away. I'm pretty good at things involving balance on the legs and the tummy. I'm really bad at things involving my weight and balance on my wrists. I have really weak wrists it seems, they just ache. It's not so bad that I haven't been able to do the routines that I want to, I just have to take a rest every now and again and kind of stretch my wrists out. I've been following along with routines from Yoga with Adrian, and I just want to give a big shout out and thank you to my friend Shona who recommended her videos. I love her so much, I love her personality and her routines are fantastic. I'm really really enjoying it and I really hope this lasts. I know what I'm like, I get really really passionate and interested in something like it was cross stitch last month and I haven't done any more cross stitch <laughs> and I like, I want to master something and then something else catches my eye and then I tend to move on. But I really hope I can carry on doing this and feeling as passionate and excited about it and incorporating it into my day. I feel so ready for the day and like good after I've done it in the morning and the few times that I've done it in the evening before bed, it's really lovely and relaxing and it just feels like some really nice, I'm really aware of how often I say really <laughs> because a few people have commented on it so now every time I say really my brain's going, you said it again. Really, 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 I need to start slipping in some verys so it's not just really all the time. It's very nice to do before bed and it feels like 
some lovely me time. That alone made this a great month for me and I'm really proud of myself. But also I was kind of ready to go to the next level in terms of my diet. I don't want to get too deep into this, but I'm 26. I'm starting to think about things like starting a family and I'm just ready to take a look at my diet <laughs> in a way that I haven't before. So I've been vegan for maybe coming up three years. I can never remember exactly because like the transitioning phase was a few months so I, I can't really pinpoint the moment at which I was vegan. Since being vegan I've expanded the variety of food that I eat so much so I was so proud of myself for that. When people list the benefits of going vegan like the main things, there's so many different little things, but the main things to break it down to, that people often break it down to, is the animals, the planet and yourself and your own health. I went vegan for the animals, a byproduct of that was I'm doing my bit for the environment and I'm still trying to improve that where I can all the time and now I just feel ready to take another step and focus on that third reason which is me. Up until now, as long as it was vegan, I didn't really care too much. I learned a bunch of new things about nutrition and food and balanced vegan diets. I learned a lot about the health benefits of different foods and it really, really inspired me and just gave me this like craving to want to eat them and to want to shake up my diet and incorporate loads of new things into it and just take that extra step. I think I'm gonna film a food haul soon so I'll ramble about this a little bit more then but I'm just feeling good and I'm feeling positive. Before we go, I'm going to give some shout outs to my patrons. I'm going to try and make a little poem for you out of your name just to make it special but I'm gonna make it up off the top of my head so don't expect anything too great. Kiana, do you like a banana? <laughs> oh my god. I understand if you cancel your pledge after that. <laughs> okay these aren't gonna be original poems anymore. I've realized that's out of my skill level. I'll, I'll sing something for you instead. Lene, Lene, I hope you have a good day. Maria, you've got to see her. Oh, Kirsty, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Kirsty. Mm -mm. Lene, Las Vegas. Lene, Las Vegas. I can't think of anything better. Elizabeth, I'm really struggling with yours. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you are the best, but I can't really have favourite patrons because that wouldn't be fair. Emma, 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 Emma Davis. <laughs>